Hey, my dear friends, Alex here. I just want to let you know that the YouTube's most popular trending smooth zoom effect is now possible in Fumora 13. And of course, not just like, like now, but since a couple of weeks ago. And the fact is, we didn't talk about it back then. But now, we do. If any of you is having challenges with upgrading to the latest version of Wondershare Filmora, just let me know in the comment section then I will give you a direct link so that you can get the latest version. And now, just before we start our tutorial, here is a short message from the sponsors of today's episode. So this is Creator Hub, a platform created for all Filmora users. It doesn't matter how far you have gone in the gym. Beginners, intermediate or professionals, we all want to learn something. Right on the startup page of Wondershare Filmora, here you are going to see the Creator Hub. You can also use it through the browser. And right here, you can search any topic that you think you would like to learn about. And the second option for you right here is to search your favorite creator. This is going to make things easy for you guys because when you search right here, nothing else is going to show up but only few more tutorials and that is going to save your time. Feel free to visit Wondershare Few More Creator Hub to get the best out of few more. And the link of the website is in the description of this video. And now back to the tutorial. Alright my dear friends, so here is how you are going to do this. The very first option for you right here is to do the animation, alright? There are actually two methods that you can use to do the animation process, but unfortunately, the other method is not very, very good, so I'm not going to take time on that one, but basically, this is how you do it. Select your video in the timeline, and then after that, you use Alter and C, so that you can open this another window right here, which is a, a crop and zoom window, alright? And right here, you go into the pan and zoom, and if you are zooming in, then you just have to adjust this one right here according to the size that you want but if you are zooming out after the adjustment they've been made then you use this option right here to to reverse whatever you are doing then this will be the reverse option all right and after that you just go to the apply and as you can see right here we have a zoom we have the zoom in animation on this video right here but now just as i have said that this method right here is not very very excellent because you need to use other things to make your animation smooth like speed ramping and so forth but let us use the other option which is quicker and even more excellent. Alright, so this is animating using the keyframes, alright? So right here, on the very first frame here, or else it may be on the frame that you want the zoom to start, okay? Just add a keyframe right here. And then after a few frames, to the very frame that you want the animation to end, go to the transform table right here and then increase the scale like this. And as you can see right here, the second keyframes will be automatically added. Alright my dear friends, so now after that, here is the very very important step. Open this option right here, which is the keyframing panel. And right here, you need to select the first group of keyframes right here, and then use this option right here, which is the ease out. And then after that, select again the group of all second keyframes here, and then ease in. This is going to give you that smooth effect which makes everything look good. Now, there are also different options right here. You can actually select all of the keyframes at once and then use the ease out. This is, this is also going to work great or else you can use these other options right here. Alright? Okay, my dear friends, so this is actually how you can create a smooth zoom effect in Wondershare Fumora 13. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And until we meet in this next episode here, peace.